Yeah, so we picked these from different YouTube appearances we've done where the audiences were more hostile, including on like the Young Turks. And some of them are mean, some of them, but some of them are also really funny. So this one is about Hannah uh, by Golfing RN. It says, her eyes are brown for a reason. She full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, got me. I actually like, I feel like that's something that's been said to me for a long time. If you have brown eyes, like you're full of shit, which is mean. But it's, a little, it's a little clever. I don't know. It's a little funny. <laughs> I'll let it, I'll, it, it can stand. All right, this one is from Finding My True Self, and it's about Brad, and it says, That dude don't even look human. Something's off. Da da da. He must have drank a lot of coffee. He looks wired up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you kind of got me there. I usually am pretty wired up. I drink a lot of coffee. I've got a touch of the ADHD. So, and also, they, they always comment on my eyes because sometimes I don't think in real life I look bug eyed, but sometimes on video I do because when I'm focusing, I forget to blink enough. <laughs> We have the opposite problem. You don't blink and I blink like nonstop. I've noticed this on our TV appearances. It's kind of funny. All right. So this one is from Carl and it says, she is gorgeous, but totally wrong. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'll take it. (laughs) Call me pretty and tell me I'm wrong. (laughs) Hot. (laughs) Okay. So next up we have one from Sandcastle and it says, nah, man, this guy looks unstable. They need to check his hard drive and take any weapons he has. Those are guilty eyes. Jesus. What's a guilty (laughs) eye? This dude's trying to red flag law me. (laughs) Do you see? You see how this will get used against people? They don't like how you look. They're like, this guy looks shifty. Take his guns. (laughs) (laughs) What do they think is on my hard drive? What does that mean? You can look, know. bro. There's no, there's it's just a lot that, of edits at the base brief. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally full. My computer is full, and it's all just clips of me and Hannah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's oh that one. <laughs> geek out. They think I look like a serial killer. They really do. Those are guilty eyes. Like this is how <laughs> this is how juries actually like vote, and that's what should terrify everybody. They're like, Meh, don't like the way he looks. <laughs> like probably guilty. So. Calvin says, now I see why airbags was invented. This woman drives scary. How does he know how I drive? This is, I know it's on a video of your political commentary. I have no idea. But he's listen, not sir. wrong, though. Listen, sir, you is are not wrong? wrong. You are not one bit <laughs> wrong, sir. I am an atrocious driver. I can't wait for autonomous cars. I terrify myself. I, yeah, I, I've got no rebuttal to that. He's Somehow he's got me pegged, so... <laughs> Got a good read. All right. Mark says, good grief. How much cocaine has this guy done today? (laughs) (laughs) It's iced coffee. It's not cocaine. I promise, mom. (laughs) My mom's listening to this right now. And she's going, oh, dear. Hilarious, because Brad is the most straight-laced person you'll ever meet in your life. Like, (laughs) it's just coffee. He just likes coffee. Yeah. I I definitely have never done cocaine. Um, All right. This one, next one is from Lois that says, this woman's privilege is leaking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Gross imagery. It's leaking. I don't. It's weird sentence structure. Gross imagery. <laughs> but like, I've never understood this whole, the privilege thing sends me. I don't, it's like, yeah, I do have some privileges. Like, I'm pretty self-aware of what those are, you know? And actually, like, I think the real privilege is being economically illiterate, like most of our our enemies are, and thinking that you're doing good when actually your ideas hurt people, right? Like, that's actual privilege to be so far removed from the outcomes of what your bad ideas do that you don't know it. So, I don't know. When they say privilege, like... It's not an argument. It's like it doesn't make what you're saying more or less true. And the leaking thing just gave me all sorts of imagery I did not want. It made me it made me think of like periods and tampons and but privilege and I'm like, why did you do this to me, Lois? No, I don't like it. And also like I don't think privilege is an insult. Like, yeah, be aware of privileges you might have and how that might impact how you view things, but that doesn't negate things that you're saying just because you have a privileged background. Like it's just not an argument. People that push these talking points about privilege often make tons of assumptions about people, and real life is just mm-hmm. too complicated. Like, you might see me, and you might see a black person, but you can't just assume that because, in general, white people have privileges and disparities and that black people don't, therefore my life has been more privileged than his. Because for yeah. all you know, right, I've had tons of challenges, and he comes, he went to prep school and is his super rich parents or something, or, you know, is adopted by 
multi-billionaires or something. Like, you really just do, can't make assumptions about people at the surface level. And that's what the whole privilege thing does. Yeah, that's a great point. And it actually, like, kind of ends up being racist in itself in that way because you're saying, oh, you look like this, you must have these backgrounds. Like, which is why I always say the left ends up being so much more racist than anything I've heard on the right by these kinds of arguments. But we'll keep it moving. All right. Love Inspired 7 says, am I the only one thinking that dude on the left looks like he has a mouthful of chiclets? Hashtag big chompers. <laughs> what is, what is a chiclet? I don't know. Let's look it up. Chiclet. Is it like that gum? You Images. Used to oh, it's the gum thing. Yeah, that it's gum? the gum thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> LOL. I do have big, I, I often get complimented on my teeth because I had braces, yeah. so they're kind of perfect, but I guess they're I mean, large, but I'm a large man and I have a large head, so. I, I think a large mouths are pretty. Julia Roberts made a multi-million dollar career out of having a large mouth, so I don't, some of these things I'm just like, I don't, I think you think that's insulting, but I'm not insulted. Like people who I like. I think if like, you have to go for my teeth when I have <laughs> nice teeth, it's like clearly you don't have a lot to work with going after my appearance if, if that's where you go. Yeah, just like people making fun of my nose. It's actually really good. I have a good nose. Yeah. All right. What's, what's up next for me? So Taurus says that you are nothing but a lost Karen. Karen? <laughs> this cracked me up because you are in so many ways the anti-Karen. I, I have been waging war on Karen, which is pretty Karen of me, I guess, come to think of it, for the past year and a half. Also, have you seen my hair? Have you seen this hair? I have beautiful hair. I would never it's have a Karen cut. It's not short and blonde and cropped. <laughs> no. Like, ugh. all right. This guy, he doesn't know me. And this is another thing that kind of makes me mad. Is like, you'll see these comments. I'm like, you've done zero research into who I am as a person, the work I've done. And unlike ugh. most people, you can easily Google me and find out pretty extensively all the things I've done in my career. When we do appearances on other networks, whether it's Fox or the Young Turks or whatever, and I was going through the comments to find these, so many of them are things that don't apply to us. They're like, really? Well, y'all supported Trump, so dot, dot, dot. And we're like, no, no. We, we didn't. Or they're like, Actively. oh, y'all don't seem to care about small government when it comes to X, Y, Z issue where we literally also have different views than they're assuming. <laughs> like, it's just so callous because I think the people, people just have such groupthink. They think all right people are like this. And all left people are like this. And it's real life is a lot more complicated. Than well, that. they're just, they're lazy people. They don't have any intellectual prowess, right? If you're actually somebody trying to be involved, then you're into the nuance of conversations. You're actually looking to see what people truly believe. But the two-party system has conditioned people into this like tribalism where they get to be lazy and they don't have to think. And they can just make all kinds of assumptions about anybody who's not in their camp, even if they're drastically wrong. They can't Im imagine somebody who exists outside of this paradigm of the two-party system. And it's like, when you come online and make these kinds of insults you kind of just reveal your own ignorance if you think everybody who has like a free market worldview like trump like oh sweetie like tell me you're not very involved in politics and probably should sit out voting for a little bit until you get a little <laughs> more informed like it's just it's not the dunk you think it is all right but this next one on brad is like high key funny it's from diana ruiz and they say someone needs to check that guy's basement <laughs> again they think i'm a murderer they think i'm a serial killer <laughs> Like, I don't know what it is about you. Like, you're such a good-looking guy. And they're like, no. Here, actually, oh, I know what it is. It just hit me. I saw this TikTok the other day. And this guy, really good-looking guy, he's like, you've been conditioned to think people like me are the asshole from 1980s movies. And he's like, I could walk into a party, eat a chip, walk out, and people would be like, that guy was a dick. And it's like, that is true. The 80s and 90s movies always made the really hot person, like, the bad guy. Do you, have you yeah, noticed that? Yeah, that's my Especially problem. Like, I'm just so hot. They just can't the handle rom -coms. it. That must be yeah. it. Yeah. I completely agree. I think so this next it. one about you is from somebody named Reggie. Oh, uh, and <laughs> I won't be saying all after this. This woman is just another racist demon of the world. <laughs> Got it. Meanwhile, I've done more to combat systemic racism than most of the left combined. Okay. <laughs> like, again, you just look stupid, dude. <laughs> like, I Also, I, what could you possibly have said on this Young Turk stream to make you a demon? <laughs> Right. I'm like, I'm on there being like government made higher education more expensive. And they're like, kill yourself. Like, it's just <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> All right. Will Holsey says, why does Brad look like a poor, sober Steve O? I'm not sure I know who Steve O is. So I'll look it up. I'll put the in in image on the screen on YouTube. But I actually get this a lot that I look like this dude who apparently is like a YouTuber or whatever, or like a gamer or something. He's from Jackass. 
Oh, okay. That's why that I guy. Know. I, I mean, I'm not really offended. He seems like a decent looking guy, but poor and sober. <laughs> poor and sober. Like, what one of them thinks I'm on cocaine, and then they're saying I look sober. Like, make up your mind. This is hilarious. I uh, cannot. All right, I don't have any more for you. Do you I've have any left? I've got one more for you. Yeah, okay. I've got one more left. And this is truly bizarre. It's from MJMZ. And they say, Brad Palumbo's a racist and right-wing reactionary and sadly stole my state Massachusetts taxpayer money to attend a dirty socialist state college, UMass. W- w- that's a lot to unpack. Like, it's you're a racist, you're a white-wing reactionary, you stole state Massachusetts taxpayer's money, and you attended a dirty socialist state school, UMass. So I can't even tell where this guy's coming from So at all. what was funny to me is that I looked at this and in the reply, somebody asked, what examples do you have that make you say he's racist? And he never replied. Of course, nothing, because you're white. <laughs> like, yeah, I that's guess. That's it, you're right, I, and you're not, you're not a liberal socialist. But he doesn't like socialists, so like I'm... No, I'm he convinced. does. What he's saying is that I talk about UMass as a socialist campus, because it is. Um, oh, but he's saying, well, I benefited from tax. That's like the whole, well, you drive on the roads argument. <laughs> so, it's just Ooh. stupid because also it's like I paid 30 grand a year and worked nights as a security guard. Is that me yeah. getting rich off the taxpayer? Is that what we're calling it? Obviously, yes, taxes do subsidize higher education. But first off, I'm against that. Uh, and against secondly, that. I didn't get financial aid a lot, right? Like, I no. Uh, so whatever. Cry harder. Um, a lot of people there still, I, I, um, live rent-free in their heads. 